Hello, folks. Uh, today the question is uh, uh, October, November, uh, two thousand five. In those days, they used to call it as November, December as well. So I have used these words also here. Yeah. So it's paper four, and the number is five. And this uh, question is concerned with uh, the chapter of uh, magnetic field. So it says that uh, an electron is accelerated from rest in a vacuum through a potential difference of uh, of one point two into uh, ten to the power minus four volts. So we have got this V is equal to is equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power uh, 4 volt show that the final speed of the uh, electron is uh, 6.5 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second so this requires that the first thing we have to require is uh, the work done on the work done on the electron is equal to e into v that is converted fully into the kinetic energy of the electrons so i must have their numerical value should be equal so i i should i will have so therefore small v should be equal to equal to 2 e v divided this m v square so then it gives v is equal to root of 2 e v by m so this v is velocity and this v is the potential difference so this will be equal to this is the root here so it will be 2 into e is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb into v equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power 4 and then this mass is equal to if i look at the data table this will be equal to 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so if i do this uh, calculation it will be 2 into 1.6 exponent minus 19 into 1.2 exponent 4 divided 9.11 exponent minus 31 equal to this much now it's a power 0 0.5 which means root uh, equal to so it becomes it becomes it becomes 6.492 into 10 to the power 7 meters per second and according to the given situation this is nearly equal to 6.5 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second so this is the required answer or condition here now number b the accelerated electron uh, now enters a region of uniform magnetic field acting into the plane of the paper so this cross means that the magnetic field is acting like this acting like this like this into the plane of the sheet uh, <coughs> describe the path of the electron so here we have to describe the path of an electron electron as it passes through and beyond the region of the magnetic field you may draw on figure 5.1 uh, if you wish so first we have to find the path of the electron inside the field so let's remember this uh, Fleming's left hand rule here. This left hand rule is for for the uh, path of uh, mm, positive charged bodies. So if we have this is the magnetic field and this is the path of the positive charged body, this thing, the force will be here. So it will deviate somewhat like this, somewhat like this. But we have negative charge here, electrons. So the deviation should be opposite. So it should be deviating down. So what we must have is the deviation is downward, deviation downward deviation deviation downward downward in circular arc in circular arc so if i do like this so from here it will be so i can uh, i can draw a draw a circle here circular path here so say so this is radius let's say this is also radius it comes like this from here from here it comes like this somewhat like this like this so still a bit spoiled here like this so here it is circular arc and after that it will uh, come out tangently in a tangent manner without any sudden change in direction so you can draw like this you can draw like this so if you, this is the surface it comes like this so you can draw like this no change here you can draw like this it should be smooth here up from here it should be smooth so it is uh, uh, tangent to the final direction tangent to the to the final direction final direction so i have to tr try to draw it as fair as uh, possible here now uh, so the next question we'll have like this here uh still explain the effect on the magnitude of the deflection of the electron 
uh, in the magnetic field if separately uh, the position difference uh, assessing the electron is reduced so we have got uh, r equal to m v by b e and uh, we have got v equal to root of twice e large v by this m so if we have uh, the pd is reduced if pd is reduced v will be reduced so v reduced means that r will be reduced so which means that r so uh, decrease of v decrease of v reduces reduces r which means which means deflection will be will be will be will be, will be high so deflection will be high now in the second case we have got if the magnetic field strength is increased so that means uh, if b is increased here from this equation if b is increased r will be less so if b is increased if b is increased increased r equal to less so this means this means the deflection the deflection the deflection 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 is again more so this completes the uh, this question